Now, syncing up what the body, the arms, and the club are doing throughout the motion can be one of the most beneficial exercises for players of all levels to work on. And in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you exactly my two favorite exercises for getting your backswing a little bit more in sync and ensuring those arms aren't traveling and getting stuck too far behind. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here on the range today at Junalup Resort and in today's lesson we're going to be talking about syncing up that backswing, ensuring that your arms aren't pulling that golf club away and causing some issues with contact a little bit later on. But before we get into it, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell so you don't miss out on all this great content coming your way. And also on top of that, if you're looking for something a little bit more personalized, I do offer online swing analysis to help you with any of your concerns that you may be facing in the full swing, the short game, the putting, any of those areas that are causing you those frustrations, I can certainly assist. Or alternatively, I do have a comprehensive premium video library on my website at kggolf.com, but there is a link down below. All right, on to today's session, we are talking about syncing up the backswing and my two favorite drills and exercises to ensure that your backswing movement isn't the cause of the majority of your poor shots. Now, first of all, let's talk about some of the big issues that we see with players as they take the golf club away. Now, from this setup position, one of the big causes for a lot of poor shots that we see with players will be an independent and very fast movement of the hands pulling the golf club away. Now, as they do this, what happens is the hands and the arms get behind the rotation of the body. And if the player is someone who does still turn sufficiently, they get this look that the arms pin well across the body. However, from this angle here, you can see that the arms start to move too far behind the spine. And then as a result, they get very stuck coming into impact and we're more likely to scoop. Secondary to that, that movement as you take the golf club away, if the hands move too quickly and we don't rotate, we're gonna find that the handle will tend to lift. From this position, the shaft is gonna come down steep, the face will generally be open, you'll stand up and also hit a variety of poor shots. So as you can see, we need to sync up that backswing to provide you with some room to get that golf club coming underneath. So what does the professional do by this stage? What do they look like in this all important club shaft parallel position that you'll see a lot of swings analyzed from all the way up into this section here. Well, what we would see with the professional golfer, just as a very simple reference here, would be that the club, the hands, and the chest all are in relatively one straight line. And you can see that's facing the camera in that section. Now, if I was to then show you what the amateur does in this section, is let's say the chest would tend to be facing more towards the ball, the arms would be pulled behind and the club would be behind. Once again, causing the errors and the issues later on down at the moment of contact. So as we're working on improving this backswing sequence, we need to really ensure that the chest is the engine for that initial move. Far too many players, be it that their grip is incorrect or there's too much tension, quickly pull that golf club away, causing a lot of the inconsistencies that they see with their ball striking. We need to sync things up. We need our body, the arms and the club working in harmony. The backswing, we use that to set up the downswing. We're not trying to create all our power in the backswing because when we do that, we tend to get into such a state that we've lost our balance, our club face awareness is all over the shop and it makes it very challenging to reproduce that in a consistent manner. So what are my two favorite exercises for syncing up that backswing, syncing up the club, the arms and the body so they're working in tune just like the professional golfer? Well, the first of these from the address position is to simply just get this golf club and you're gonna place it in front of you as such. And you can see that my hands are underneath my shoulder blades in this section here. Now from this position here, all we're going to do is we're going to make a backswing move to this section here, where my lead arm or my left arm for the right hander is level with the ground. And your objective is to keep your hands in front of your shoulders. So as you can see, they started in front and by that stage of the backswing, they finished in front. Now, the reason I really enjoy this drill is because then it's easy to generate a feel of where the club should be by that next stage by sliding the hands together. So if I set up like this, and all I do is turn, 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 and then I slide my hands down, well, we can see that the hands are in front of our chest. 
Now, within reason, yes, they can be a little bit behind, and most players are, but we want to ensure that these hands are relatively in front of the chest by that section. Too many amateur golfers, by that stage of the swing, will have them in such a position where they won't even be closely in line to where they need to be, and that, of course, affects the delivery of the club and the movement of it throughout the rest of the motion. So when we're setting up here and we get this golf club in our hands as such, hands underneath our shoulder blades, and we keep them in that same orientation to the top. That's really gonna facilitate this nice big shoulder turn that we see with the professional. The hands will be in front. Then when you put two hands on, that'll give you the feeling that we need for a proficient backswing and downswing movement. The second drill, a real easy one. I love this one. It's a great one for building concept around how the arms and the body needs to work. Most players assume the arms have got to do a lot, but what we do want to see is a lot more chest rotation. So what I'm going to get you to do here is from the address position, all you're going to do is you're going to lift and hinge this golf club up from your wrists and soften the elbows. And then from this position, we're going to turn our chest. Now you can see with a circle drawn around my head here. I'm not moving off the golf ball as such, but all I'm doing is I'm ensuring that I'm rotating my chest back towards this camera here, push my hands out. Now, all of a sudden, I'm in that exact same position that I was showing you before with the other drill. It's just a different way to do it. Now, the reason I love this, it syncs up both of these movements. It makes it a little bit easier to get that feeling of getting the hands and the arms in front. So once you've done that a couple of times, I would say that you could even just do these drills back into the section, slide the hands on, follow through, get a feeling of what it's like to have that golf club in the right position. You'll probably feel like you've got a lot more room than you've ever had before. And then from there, you do the other one on the right shoulder, turn the chest back. We're gonna push away with that right hand. You can see the hands are in front, swing through. Once again, giving me a very, very similar feeling. After you've done that, you've got that feeling. Well, then I'd put two hands on. I'd work on getting this backswing position. And you can see by this section here, well, that looks really good. My hands are in front of my chest. They're certainly not behind at all. That can be a reference. A little soft pulling of the hands towards your chest and pushing away. You can see that the hands are in the right position and that shaft is relatively on plane of where we would like to see it throughout that stage of the golf swing. So once you've developed that feel, let's do one more practice swing. Get that sensation that they're in front. Okay, let's hit a shot down there, see how we go. So that one felt great, and the reason being is that the body, the arms, and the club were working in sync, and a lot of that was just taken care of in that first backswing part of the motion. So if you're struggling with your ball striking, your video yourself, you can see that your arms are doing all sorts of funky moves. We'll try these two drills out, and I'm sure they'll help.